Hey there, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm excited to show you how to create AI videos from your mid-journey AI-generated images using Pika Labs and upscale them for free. So for those who are unsure, Pika Labs setup and prompting is a free to use AI video generator. It's still in beta, but you can access it by visiting pika.art. Once you're there, click on Join Beta, which will send you an invite to Pika's Discord server. Simply follow the usual Discord invitation steps to join the server. Once you're there, scroll down and join one of the chat rooms, and use a direct message to enter a prompt. Try using forward slash create and press space to start entering some prompts. Let's enter a prompt for today's video. Pika Labs will generate a video based on the prompt that we send it. It can be quite hard though to keep track of the videos that we're generating with so many other people generating content in the same chat room. So here are some helpful commands. You can change the video parameters by typing dash AR followed by the aspect ratio. For example, if we type forward slash create a bird flying dash AR 9x16, it'll generate a vertical video of a bird flying. You can also adjust the amount of motion generated with the dash motion parameter. After your prompt, type dash motion followed by a number between 0 to 4 where 0 has the least motion and 4 has the most motion. This doesn't always work perfectly, but I highly recommend using dash motion 4 if you wish to see a ton of motion in your AI generated video. Another cool aspect of Pika is that we can generate videos from our own reference images. To use our image as a prompt, simply type forward slash create, press space, click on the plus one more option, then select image from the pop-up menu. Feel free to upload any image you wish as a prompt. I'm going to upload this image. Pika will automatically preserve the aspect ratio of your uploaded image for its generated video. From my experience, Pika works really well on videos with environmental effects. You can see the individual effects in all the videos that it generates. Pika also does a great job with fire as well as rain effects. I also love how it handles certain lighting effects. One thing I do note though with Pika is that it struggles with maintaining the integrity of human faces. I tried generating videos with some portraits from Midjourney but it constantly blurs them quite a bit and even alters the structure of the face that I uploaded. Next, let's see the upscale videos using CapCut. The videos that are generated by Pika are in high resolution, but we can upscale them twice using CapCut's free video upscaler. So for those who are also unsure, CapCut is TikTok's free video editor. You'll also need a free account on CapCut to download the videos you wish to upscale. Once you've done that though, simply upload your video into the interface, wait for it to load, and then click on Upscale. Once it's done upscaling, you can preview the video in the web browser or click on Export to download your upscaled video. Just like Pika, this AI upscaler works really well with different environmental effects. Although just like Pika, this video upscaler also struggles with human-like portraits. It may be quite a while before these AI video generators can reliably generate a human face. Do note that with CapCut, you're limited to about 600 seconds or 10 minutes of video generated per month. However, you can always create an alternative free account or feel free to subscribe to CapCut and help support them in their AI generation journey. Just a few things to note, Pika Labs is still in beta and can only generate 3 second videos. They're going to extend the video generator eventually, but who knows when that will happen. And that's really all there is to using Pika Labs to create some AI generated videos. If you have any other questions with the steps I've shown you today, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.